When you learn that your life only had 1,500 words left, what would you say? It may be hard to imagine these. Don't worry. Keep watching this video. The day Frank was told by his doctor that he only had 1,500 words left to live. What to do? First, he was angry. No! You're wrong! You're wrong! You're wrong! You're wrong! You don't know what you're on about! Talking out, yo. Then despair. <laughs> and then extreme thirst. He opened the jar with the specimen and drank it down. Then, he tried to end his life but without success. Finally there was a quiet resignation. When he was done talking, the doctor straightens his tie and sets up the messy skeleton frame. He suddenly informed Frank that he only had 50 words left. Frank took the timer from him. He grabbed his clothes and was about to leave. But the doctor stopped him. He took a business card out of the drawer. He told Frank that if he really felt pain, he should call the number on it. Frank said thank you to the doctor. Now, he only had 46 words left. Frank walked out of the clinic. He thought hard about how to tell his wife about it. But when he got home, he decided it was best not to tell her. And then see what happens. Then Frank realized. It turns out that real relationships are spent in silence. 40% in sleep. 10% eating. 20% brushing teeth. Watching TV. Taking out the trash. Only 30% of the time left to worry about. And this can be replaced by touch and eye contact. And of course, include naughty, lightly hit each other. From time to time. The man uses odd words to describe his wife, such as Beatitude All gratuitous And occasionally Soliloquy But after a while, the wife had had enough of their winking and joking around. She didn't want to be stared at while she slept. The house started to become silent. It was as quiet as a gas leak. Finally, the four words Frank had been dreading came anyway. We need to talk. He was kicked out of the house by his wife, so he went into the woods with 12 bottles of Danish beer. Because this was his own little place, Frank opened the beer, drinking one can after another. He drank until all words lost their meaning. Even the words became a strange guttural sound. He yelled at the trees, he cheers to the birds, and he kept drinking until he had one word left. The next day Frank was awakened on the ground. He thought back to the night before, vaguely remembering being in front of a nearby duck. His wife kept her mouth shut over and over again. He now recalls that it was truly quiet. Frank fished out his wallet and saw the business card inside. He went to a public phone booth. When he dialed the number, there was a mechanical female voice. He asked Frank a lot of questions. Press 1 if you're right. Press 3 if wrong. But even though Frank pressed 3 frantically, the caller continued to ask mechanical questions until the last question. Please edit a message to your wife. Frank looked at the picture of his wife in his purse. He remembers the picture of how we used to see each other. A smile spreads across his lips. But after a long time of inactivity, the mechanical female voice started asking, Do you want more time? Would you like more time? Yes! 3. This is a short British comedy film from 2019. 1,500 words. We are always the hardest on the people we love the most. Always waste our precious lives, wasting it on frivolous things. But when life is counting down, all we have left is anger, despair and resignation. People always know how to cherish only after losing. If life is really counted down with words, maybe we would get along more purely. Less useless nonsense. More quiet listening. Life may become more beautiful. Well, that's all I have to share today. If you like this movie, like, comment, follow. See you next time.